Howdy. Howdy. Another nice day. Hope yeah. you've been outside playing around. I know. Atty's been on the trampoline. Ooh. Good for Atty. And Torben wouldn't go through the tunnel. For Nana. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. But next, I'm sure you had a good time. day. Yeah. Ruby, I hope you've been good. And it's Max's seven month birthday. Wow. Woohoo! Happy birthday to, to you. you. Happy Squash birthday. tomatoes and, and stew. stew or whatever. And all that stuff. Yeah. For seven months. So tonight um we've got another story from oh, the three hundred and sixty five bedtime the stories. stories. And what else has got three hundred and sixty five things in it? You know by now, because we told you twice. A jar. The post box. The bathroom cabinet. 365 days in a year. <laughs> silly, oh. Nana. Silly? Blimey. <laughs> Not even clever enough to be silly. Pizza. Pizza. Right. right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Today's story is Bunny Loves to Read. Right, Grandad's going to start again today. Second day of running. Buster Bunny loved books. He read stories of princes and pirates and witches and wizards. He read books about trains and dinosaurs. Yay! One day, Buster's friends came over. Hi, Buster, they said. Are you coming out to play? Sure, said Buster with a smile. When I finish my book, it's all about pirates. You've always got your nose in a book, <laughs> said his sister, Bella. <laughs> Granddad. Hopscotch is more fun. Books are boring, croaked Francine the Frog. Francine the Frog? That's what it says. Why read books when you can play leapfrog? Racing each other is even more fun, said Max the Mouse. Max the Mouse. <laughs> Don't listen to them, Buster, said Sam the Squirrel. I think books are the best. Really? asked Buster. Yes, yes said Sam. Sam. Sorry, <laughs> go on. <laughs> go on, I thought you'd stop for me to read. Yes, said Sam, smiling. Books are the best for nibbling. <gasps> hey, laughed Buster. Then Bella said, come on, let's leave Buster with his dumb old books and play outside. But it was raining and the friends looked out of the window gloomily. Why don't you read some of my books, asked Buster, bringing out a big box. We don't want to look at books, said Sam grumpily. We're only waiting for the rain to stop. Buster took a book out of the box. There's a big thunderstorm in this story, said Buster. It's all about pirates hunting for buried treasure. Buried treasure, asked Sam, like nuts and acorns. Yum. Not exactly, replied Buster, but it's very exciting. Take a look. I guess there's nothing better to do, sighed Sam. Frogs really hate being stuck inside, grumbled Francine. This book is about a prince who turns into a frog, Buster said. Good for him, said Francine. Does he turn back into a prince? Why don't you read it and find out, smiled Buster. Just want to have a quick look at the Funny pictures. people, isn't it? And it's raining. <laughs> it's raining. raining outside. We don't know what that's like, do we? No, it's not raining in England. <clears throat> Being cooped up inside is making me sleepy, said Max. I bet, I bet Auntie Charlotte really like, would like that. Buster gave Max a book. The princess in this story goes to sleep for a hundred years, he said. Really? Wow! How does she wake up? Read it and see, said Buster. Well, OK, but I might fall asleep before I finish it. I'm bored. I'm going to get a cookie, said Bella. Hey, Buster, your box is in my way. Can't you just step over it? Only if I take a giant step, said Bella. Just like a dinosaur, said Buster. Some of them were bigger than a house. Buster looked out of the window. Hey, it's stopped raining, he cried. Who's coming out to play? Shh, I'm still reading. The pirates haven't found the treasure yet, said Sam. And the prince is still a frog, croaked Francine. And the brave knight... Is still searching for the sleeping princess, cried Max. And I've just gotten to a good part about Tyrannosaurus Rex, <sighs> laughed Bella. 
So what do you want to play outside, asked Buster, when the friends had all finished reading. Hopscotch, leapfrog, tag. Let's pretend we can do magic spells. If you give me a kiss, I'll turn you into a princess, said Francine. Oh, no thanks, laughed Sam. Let's play pirates. Look out, said Bella. I'm a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Roar! I'm off to find the enchanting princess, cried Max. They played pirates and dinosaurs and princes and princesses until it was time to go home. Do you have any other books about dinosaurs? asked Bella. Sure, said Buster. What about frogs? asked Francie. Yes, said Buster, and toads too. Anything else about witches and magic? asked Max. Loads. Can I borrow another pirate story? Sam asked. Of course you can, laughed Buster. As long as you promise not to eat it. Ha! <laughs> he eat a book because he's a squirrel. Yeah. Squirrel eats all sorts of rubbish, don't they? So that's the pictures. <laughs> They're lovely. So that was good. That was a yeah. nice bedtime story. Yeah. So that's us for today. So you make sure you have a really good night's sleep. And yeah. we'll be back tomorrow. We will. With another story. Yeah. We love you all. We love so you loads and loads and loads. Lots of love so then too. Lots of loads. <laughs> lots to and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of love to Attie and Torben, Torben and, and Ruby, Ruby and, and Max. Max. And happy seven month birthday, birthday, Max. Max. Yeah. Okay. So sleep well yeah. and ha be good for your mummies and love you loads and loads. Yeah, we do. Love you. Be good. Bye. Night, night. Night, night.